Hey guys, welcome to San Francisco. And yeah, Brez, look, I have the calculator out too, right? And if you don't win even just one game, the math starts to look increasingly bleak. And, and that's a reality. Just kind of is what it is right now as we see D'Angelo Russell coming off the floor and heading into the locker room. So that'll be, though, one of the exciting things now about this game, even though no LeBron, a lot of new bodies that we're going to get to see. How do they fit together? Who starts with whom? Who's going to come off the bench in that rotation? We'll start with the ankle and foot injury for LeBron with Darvin and then get to some of those rotation questions. Here's Darvin Ham. Uh, you know, just good for him to continue to get treatment, um, stay off of it. Uh, again, we, you know, obviously we've made moves and one of the biggest moves is, you know, making sure we, we, we're not putting them in a position and, and making them, putting them at risk of a bigger issue. So we got some imaging done and everything came back clean. Just again, a normal wear and tear, just a little irritated in one area. And so we just taking this time that we have to try to get him treated and work towards getting him back so we can, you know, make a good run and he can be in the midst of it going down the stretch. With so many new guys in, you, you don't exactly have a, a preseason game or even a full practice yeah. to try different stuff out. How has that been with your coaching staff, uh, just, just figuring out the first shot at the starting lineup in the rotation, and how do you expect that to play out tonight? It's been interesting, man, and, and, and it's been sort of fun at the same time. Um, just seeing all the guys that we have that we know are going to be able to contribute to what we're doing. Um, we had a chance to go over to USF to get some stuff done at about an hour and 20 minutes over there just touching on some of the things we do defensively offensively starting the process of getting them caught up to speed and uh guys were attentive alert you know anxious ready for tonight to come and beyond and uh again it's been a, we know it's going to be a little bit of a process but we just got to speed it up as quickly as possible you know we'll have a shoot around in portland um we'll have a lot of film work done in between and tonight's game you know be the start was last night was literally the start of it, but tonight's game will be huge too. Um, and I just told all of them, you know, you know, the, the, the biggest mistake you can make is to not compete, not play hard, and not play the right way. So don't overthink it. You know, everybody in the league now does similar things offensively and defensively for that matter. But uh, just to go out there and just try to compete at the best of your ability. The group we see tonight could that be fluid, or are you going to try to say let's give this a look for a couple games? I mean. You know, we, we, we mix and match some things that, we, you know, we feel like going to put us in a position to have balance within our rotation. Obviously, Brian being out, when he comes back, there's going to be another adjustment made. So we're just taking it one day at a time right now. All right, so there you go. There's Sarvin Ham, and we don't yet know. We can take some guesses, uh, Ali, as to what the starting lineup is going to be, and I'm sure you guys will do that um, coming up in the show. We'll have the official one 30 minutes prior, and uh, I don't know. It could be one thing today and then another in Portland, depending on how guys play. You just don't have the opportunity, right, like you would in a preseason game to be trying stuff out. Like, it has to happen now, and they got to start winning games for that math to make some sense.